In this video, we're going to be going through some general tips and tricks to help you get better at the stand-up game in UFC 5. And I'm going to be focusing mainly on simple but useful tips that you can implement pretty much straight away. And if you haven't already, then go check out my last upload to learn how to use slips and counters effectively. The first tip I want to go through today is that your strikes are a lot quicker when you're standing still. So obviously you can throw pretty much any strike while moving forwards, backwards and sideways. And this kind of movement can be necessary at times. But throwing stationary combinations is also really useful. Every now and then take your thumb off the left stick, wait for your opponent to come towards you and then throw your combo. And if you input the buttons quickly enough, the combo gets thrown way faster. This is particularly useful when you're trading shots with an opponent. So there's times where you're both throwing strikes at the same time and it's all about who can land first. If your feet are planted while your opponent's moving towards you, your combo is probably going to land first, giving you a massive advantage in that exchange. The next tip is to make sure you're constantly working in body shots and leg kicks in your combos. This one's simple, but a lot of people, myself included, forget this and start headhunting. Body shots gradually drain your opponent's stamina over time, so it may not feel like you're doing much damage at first, but by the later rounds in the fight, you'll see a noticeable difference in your opponent's stamina, and it will make it a lot easier for you to finish the fight. And then with leg kicks, it's all about making your opponent worry about something else, so they can't just hold R2 to block their head all the time. To do big damage, you need to catch them when their guard's down, and it gets a lot easier to do this if they're constantly worried about having to block low to defend against body shots and leg kicks. It's similar to what you see a lot of UFC fighters do in real life. They keep kicking low to kind of condition a defensive response out of their opponent, and then suddenly go high later in the fight and catch them off guard. The third tip is to learn range management. Certain strikes will only land in a certain range. So for example, hooks and uppercuts are only gonna land if you're super close to your opponent and kicks need to be thrown from a longer range. It's important to know this for a couple of reasons. First, if you're constantly missing strikes, your stamina is gonna drain very quickly and that's just never a good thing. Secondly, when you throw strikes at the wrong range, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to a counter. So in this ranked championships fight, I'm playing as Poirier and throughout the fight, my opponent was recklessly throwing kicks from out of range. Here he tries to go for a roundhouse to the body, completely misses and I'm able to counter with an overhand. Then he tries to throw the same kick from really close range and I'm able to easily counter for the knockdown. And he does the same thing again later on, misses with a wild kick and I'm able to finish the fight this time. This guy lost this fight because of poor range management. So you need to think about what strikes you're throwing at what range, especially kicks because those leave you super vulnerable if you miss. The next tip is to take some time to learn simple combinations. Pick a fighter and go to the training arena. Go to the pause menu and scroll down to game help and then to view moves and you'll be able to see all the different moves and combos that your selected fighter can do. Find some you like and practice them until they become muscle memory. Now you don't actually need to learn ridiculously complex combinations to win fights, just some simple two or three strike combos are enough to get you started. Combos like jab hook, hook uppercut or a jab followed by a body shot and so on. Practice these until you don't even have to think about them anymore. My main tip here is to make sure you're learning combos that start with a variety of strikes. Because for example, if literally all of your combinations start with a jab, you're going to be really easy to counter with head movement. Variety is very much the key here. And then my last tip is to just stay patient. UFC can be a very frustrating game to play, especially at first, and it's just going to take some time to get good. Also, stay patient in fights. You don't need to throw everything to try and knock someone out in round one. Just slow down and think about everything you're doing rather than panicking and spamming. That's everything for this video, thanks for watching and subscribe for more UFC 5 content.